Welcome to the session of UX evaluation. UX evaluation is a collection of methods or tools which is used to see how a user perceives the system or what is the mindset of the user before using the product, during using the product and after using the product so that the UX evaluator can come to know about the issues of the system and modify it before giving it to the actual users for using it. If we see the diagram, UX evaluation is the fourth phase of UX lifecycle. As we all know that user experience cannot be designed, it is felt by the user. There are two ways in which evaluation can be done. First is formative evaluation, second is summative evaluation. When I say the term formative evaluation, it is the basic diagnostic evaluation where we consider qualitative data. When I say qualitative, it means describing it with some adjectives or writing proper reviews about the design of the system. For example, observing and writing report about UI or describing the features in brief. When I consider summative evaluation, summative evaluation is about collecting quantitative data. For example, ranking the UI between 1 to 5, where 1 is low and 5 is high. It is basically used for assessing the improvement due to formative evaluation. Now when I give an example of summative and formative, if I say UI is made good, it means it is formative. But what does that good stand for? If I say in terms of rating, it could be 4, it could be 5, that becomes summative. So when I describe my UI evaluation in a more precise way, I have to use formative and summative both. When I consider summative evaluation, summative evaluation is of two types, formal summative evaluation, informal summative evaluation. Formal summative is done by lab based testing as it is done always in controlled environment by considering some hypothesis. Results are also rigorously tested and evaluated. When I say informal summative, it is used only for internal usage. The results are not verified and no claim can be made outside the team. As the name goes informal, it is not done in controlled environment. In the diagram, if we see, evaluation is there in two types, formative evaluation and summative evaluation, whereas summative has two types, informal and formal. So when I say I am doing user experience evaluation, it considers formative evaluation and informal summative evaluation. Let us come to the next topic that is orthogonal dimensions for classifying formative UX evaluation. Now there are two methods, empirical versus analytical, rigorous versus rapid. Now when I say empirical methods, empirical method says that you observe the data in the real environment. For that purpose, lab-based testing is required. Now when I say lab-based testing, we can do both the testing, quantitative as well as qualitative. Next we go to analytical method. Analytical method says that you describe the attributes of the design and not the actual usage. So that is why it is called as intrinsic method. Now when I consider my UI evaluation, I consider both mixture of analytic as well as empirical. In the diagram, as we see an axe, in the first diagram, if I describe the axe, like it is made of wooden, it has some shape, it is more sharp, so it becomes my analytical method. But if I say axe is used to cut the tree, it is used to give the shape, it is used to make the work faster, this becomes empirical. So when I see evaluation, I consider both analytical as well as empirical. Next we come to rigorous method. As we say rigorous method, it is most effective. It minimizes the errors, but the cost is high and it is more time consuming. Why time consuming? Because here we consider all the phases of the activities of the phases. We do not skip any of them. Now you rigorous method is always done in lab based testing. The reason for doing lab based testing is that we get controlled environment to limit the distraction and we can have quantitative measures such as error rate etc. We can also use empirical testing if we need more realistic usage as empirical is to see how the system works in the real environment. When we come to the next that is called as the rapid evaluation as the name goes rapid it is run quickly we can minimize or we can skip some of the activities in between. It is used as cost saving, it is more faster, but the results are less effective. For that reason, rapid evaluation can be used at early stages to show up the demonstration of the basic concepts of 
designing. In the diagram, as we see, this diagram shows the complete structure of rigorous, rapid, analytical, and empirical. Thank you.